Welcome to the lesson on life-threatening issues. In this video, we'll discuss what to do during a life-threatening emergency. If at any time you determine that the child or infant is experiencing a life-threatening emergency, support breathing and cardiovascular function immediately. This usually means providing high-quality CPR. While it's important to recognize and respond to the particular cause of the problem, the time required to determine the problem should not interfere with perfusion and oxygenation for the child or the infant. As you maintain breathing and circulation for them, determine if they're primarily experiencing respiratory distress or arrest, bradycardia, tachycardia, shock, or cardiac arrest. Individual PALS protocols for each of these clinical situations are provided throughout the videos and corresponding PALS manual. This concludes our lesson on life-threatening issues. Next, we'll review resuscitation tools.